And we are live. Hey, everybody. It's Austin here. Along with... <laughs> Sasha. And we are joined by the lovely and talented Kaylee. Welcome, Katie. Hi. Hi, everybody. If anybody's there, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to close me... this door. I'm going to check and make sure that the video is running here. I'll try to raise the camera a little bit. Ah. Yeah, we're, we've had a little technical difficulties here. Okay. Yep, we're on there. Okay. So, um, for you guys watching, you guys, I sound like Bart Rath though I'm there. <laughs> um, if you want to send in your questions for Katie answer about Odyssey, voice acting, or anything else, make sure to post them on the comments on the YouTube video that you're watching. Or if you want, you can send us a tweet on our Twitter page at AIO Blog and just send us a question there or post it on Facebook. And stay tuned because we're going to be having a giveaway later on and you don't want to miss that. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first question. It's probably mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was it like recording with actors like Hal Smith and Walker Edmiston? It was fantastic, too, especially when I started. I wasn't, you know, obviously as seasoned as they are, I'll, I'll never catch up. But so it was a great learning experience to be with them and hear all their uh, fantastic stories of actors that had gone before me and friends and history and they're just wonderful. Plus they were really great people. Uh, it was great. I felt really, really uh, fortunate to be able to work with them and get to know them as friends too. Now, do I get to see these questions? Do they appear anywhere where I can see them? Um, I believe you go to like the YouTube page um, for the video. It'll show like a comment section there. So I have to go on YouTube. Yeah, just make sure to um, turn the sound down on, or just pause the video so it doesn't um, play through the speakers there. And it should be showing up here. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to do that. That's okay. okay. I guess I'll have to rely on you to tell me <laughs> what's going okay. on. Because it looks like I'm on a YouTube page, but it's Phil's interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the link that you posted on your uh, social sites. That's the oh, that's where I need to go. Yeah. Got it. And then I'll see the questions. Yeah. Oh wait, that's AI wireless. That's not you, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no, not quite. Okay. Well, I don't. Maybe I posted the wrong thing. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> oh. Weird. All right, let me try this again. I probably put too much. All right, did that answer anybody's question? I got it yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so Tasha, you want to go ahead and do the next one? Okay. In acting, what has been the hardest thing for you to do vocally? All right, I'm doing. I Phil warned me about this. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> can't do this. You can just pause right. the video on there. Never so mind. Never mind. I can't <laughs> do it. It's it's alternate re universes. Okay. What's the question? Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay. In acting, what has been the hardest thing for you to do vocally? <sighs> wow. Uh. uh so, well, screaming always hurts your throat. <laughs> um, yeah, and especially like um, I've worked on movies before where we've had to take like 
maybe five to ten people and sound like a football stadium so you have to do it over and over and over again it's not hard it just hurts after a while yeah and also laughing that probably hurts after a while too huh laughing yeah if you have to do it a lot or anything you have to do repeatedly can you know hurt your throat for sure um, but I can't think of anything offhand um, but maybe it'll come to me. I'm sure there's something I've had to do that was a challenge of sorts. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, now talking about one of the more recent Odyssey episodes, Life Expectancy, which was a really big episode. What was your reaction when you found out that Connie's mom had died? I cried. You heard me, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, you know, it's sad. So I was sad. And, yeah, I guess that's a normal reaction, right? I don't know. What was everybody else's reaction when they heard Connie's mom had died? Well, I think the majority of us had already guessed it um, to an extent. Uh, I think How so? Well, I think a lot of people, like it's like a big change, something traumatic in Connie's life, they had hinted at. And a lot of people were speculating, okay, someone will probably die, someone close to Connie. And they like, okay, will it be Bill or will it be June? And then later on when they posted that uh, picture of Alan Bergman, I think it is, on Facebook during the recording session, um, a lot of people recognized him and uh -huh. said, okay, if he's in there, more than likely June is the one that... Wow, died. wow, wowie, wow, wow. Where did you <laughs> even read these hints about something happening? Because I don't even know till I get the script, and that's a day of recording. So you guys are like, you know, somebody better fill me in before I go to work. Maybe I'll be better prepared. <laughs> well, That's <it> amazing. <laughs> yeah, and also, um, we'll go with this... Um, there's another thing that's sort of guessed later, but um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But even though, for me personally, even though I pretty much knew what was going to happen, it was still quite emotional for me. I mean, June Kendall, she was one of the best characters from the older days, and I'm, I'm really, I really wish that we could have heard more from her in recent years. But um, even that, like, um, you know, characters close to you, like if you hear that, even though, though you may think it's going to happen or know it's going to happen, then it's still quite emotional. And also, um, hearing you as Connie, which I think that was probably your best performance on Odyssey ever, and that took a lot of lot of great acting to pull all that emotion off. So just because Connie was crying so much and so emotional, I, I was crying a whole lot during all three parts. Well, thank you. That's that's a very nice compliment. You know, even though when you know something's going to happen, you don't know how it's going to happen. So, it, you know, and I think the way they wrote it probably took people by surprise. I don't know if it did you, but it took me by surprise. Hmm. Yeah, that's... I, I, um, you're the one that um, likes to not read the script before you go into the studio, right? Or is that someone else? That's probably me, yeah. Okay, because I remember in some interview someone said that, like, you wanted all the motion. I think I think Walker Emerson said he liked doing that too, didn't he? Maybe. Uh, you know, I was trying to figure out where that came from. And I was talking to Nathan, and I realized, because we've been doing this for 26 years, when we started, <clears throat> excuse me, computers were kind of new or non existent. And. So they wouldn't send we they wouldn't mail us their scripts. They'd have to use the mail. So we would just got used to going to the studio and getting our scripts then when we got there and looking at it there. So it just became, you know, the way we did it and then eventually with computers now they can email them. But I think some of us were just used to doing it the old way and didn't even think, hey, this is convenient. We could read it because we're just we know we can do it without it. So it's like an old habit of probably not reading it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I think I think like Walker Emerson when he um, when you guys did the Mortal Coil, you know, with um, way having a stroke, 
Um, I believe he said that for that scene where he's talking with Wit at the hospital that he didn't want to rehearse it at all. He wanted to get like the raw emotion right away when they first did it. Right, and that's another reason I think you know if you do things too many times, it doesn't sound fresh or you know it, it sounds rehearsed or you've already thought through it, and then um, you know for the mo if we don't get it right the first time, we can always read it again. So. I don't know how much I can plan because the way I act, I try to listen to what the other actors are doing and react to them, and I can't do that without them there. Yeah. So. Is it my turn? Um, let's see. Um, yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, I'm going to really mess this one up. I'm don't sure. worry, it's a, hard, it's a hard name to okay. pronounce. Is there what? somebody? Is there somebody I could see? Is this something you're supposed to be able to see people on? Um, no, just people watching the show. They'll just see um, me and Tasha and you. Um, oh. they'll send in questions. They'll um as they hear us talk. If we okay. if we wanted to, if we wanted to do like more people, like more a bigger interviews or something like that, we could add more people. But with this, with it, so many people, we couldn't add everyone in. Okay, just wondering. It's my first Google Hangout. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's only our first, only our second one. We we learned quite a bit with the first one with Phil, but we're still learning. Okay, well, so, bravo to you guys for doing this. Hey, Austin. Can I switch questions with you? Because I know I'm going to mess this one up, so... All right. <laughs> okay, um, again, talking about Connie's mom, were there any memorable moments act that you had acting with Maggie Maloubi playing your mom? This isn't going to sound like a no, big deal. I mean, you know what? I don't remember a lot. Like Townsend just told me yesterday we were in a movie together that I don't remember being in. And I looked it up. Well, he looked it up and said, yes, you were. And I can't remember being in the studio. And apparently I acted with some pretty famous people. So that being said, <laughs> um, Maggie used to be a travel writer. And I remember she, she for travel magazines, and so she had told me, because we don't talk about acting, you have to understand, when we're at work, we talk about our families, everything, 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 but probably not the script. And she told me, when you travel abroad, start eating Pepto-Bismol chewables one day, a week before, once a day, a week before you go somewhere, and it'll help you not get sick when you travel. And that I have always kept in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did um, did you really feel like she like she was sort of like your mom? Like, did you like? I, I think she she's older than you, right? Oh yeah, she she is. And actually, I I used to work with her son. Her son is a voiceover actor in Italy. Oh wow. Um, yeah, but he used to live here, and then he moved to Italy. Um, no, yeah, when we were doing some regular shows, yeah, she, you know, she's like my mom, but to be honest, we didn't do that many shows together, you know, close together where we would develop that kind of relationship kind of personally, but definitely when I was working with her, you know, as she played my mom, yeah. Yeah, I know some people when they were talking about, like, um, with June dying, like, they went back and I like, saw how many episodes she was in, I believe it was like... 20 episodes, and that was it, but it seemed like she was in a lot more. Well, we talked about her a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you can imagine 20 out of 500 isn't that many. Yeah. Okay, now you get to read the question, Tosh. Watch it be a hard one. Okay. This one right here. Did I say anything? Yeah. Okay. Audrey wants to know. What was it like working with Shona, and when you found out Connie had a half-sister, what was your reaction? Okay, who asked that? Audrey. Uh, Audrey Kennedy. Audrey. I was surprised, of <laughs> course, like everybody else. Uh, that was crazy, and um, I guess it's pretty typical of my family, and Connie by this point has gotten used to like whatever her dad comes up with. It's like, oh, another crazy thing. Um, but I was, I was surprised. I'm always surprised. <laughs> I was probably as surprised as everybody else. Um, and it's interesting. 
It's really interesting because, you know, Connie wanted to live with uh, Penny so she could sort of have a sister. Now she really has one. <laughs> and also, also the question was, on what was it like uh, recording Shona, who actually has the last name as Audrey? Oh, how, what's it like recording with her? Yeah. It's it's really it is great. Um, she's you know amazingly well poised and she has a really nice family and she just fit right in. You know I'm sure it's a little nerve wracking for her, but we always try to make people feel comfortable and um, you know I I th I can see that you know in God's wisdom she you know she's a good fit for the character she's able to give that kind of hesitant sort of performance that matches show um what's her name on the show Jules personality yeah and we got we got to see um when you guys did the um uh, getting the show live event uh focus on the family when they you know they perform the three finalists performed their scripts that was that was really amazing. And Did you like he, that? Yeah, actually, I was actually voting for uh, Anya, I believe it was. Uh huh. Um, but I was so ha happy for her, and I, I think she did a great job. Well, they all three did. I mean, consider what they they went through. It just turned out. I mean, because nobody at Focus voted. You know, everybody else did, I guess, and. It's amazing because Shona actually lives in California, so it made it a little easier for her to come to the studio. Yeah. And it's also interesting, I was thinking about this um, earlier. Uh, like, they had like both boys and girls trying out for it, but it turned out that there was only three girl finalists. So if there had been a boy, Connie would have had a brother instead. I guess. I, yeah, I was thinking about that yesterday because we worked on some shows yesterday. I thought, I was thinking about the boys, like, what would they have done? Who knows? Well, what would they have called them that's, like, similar to Jules? Um... Well, it could be Jules. It could be Jules. Jules is a guy's name, too. Oh, really? Yeah, Jules okay. Verne. 7,000. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I get it now. <laughs> so maybe that's, they were okay. They probably had it planned you know, either way, the name would be Jules, I imagine. Yeah, that's that's one thing there that probably, we probably knew more about that, um, us fans. We sort of guessed that more than about Connie's mom dying. Because oh, I really? Think Brock, yeah, Brock Eastman, he posted, like, um, it's, like, official Shona um, is, and then he, like, blocked us out, and then, like, apostrophe S, like, Connie or something, then something, and it's like, so we thought, okay, she must be the relative of Connie's, that we don't know about, and it says like she's a younger person, and if something like that happened to June, that maybe, you know, uh, Connie's dad would come out the woodwork and bring along a daughter that he must have had. Wow, you guys June. figured this all out before that. You must spend a lot of time thinking about this. That's good. <laughs> Great. Well, I, I'm. I mean, that was kind of fun, but I wish, like, it's especially hard. Nowadays, with the kind of technology and stuff, and also like with instead of just like having them air on the radio anymore, like week to week, they put like the digital album out earlier, the CDs out. So you have to be very, very careful not to hear spoilers. And I like when um uh oh um yeah when Mitch came back in a uh something something old something new mm -hmm. the night before I had. Um, I read somebody post on Facebook about like, no, no, I hope that's not true, so I wasn't spoiled. It's yeah, you know, I I forgot I was at the studio last week and I was take this week and I was taking pictures and I going to post it and they were like, you can't do that, you can't <laughs> do that. It's it's like ruins life for people six months from now. So <laughs> yeah, no, also, I have to uh, learn. <laughs> yeah, like when also um um. When Monty came back in the Green New Conspiracy, I found out about that too. And I, actually, I was so hoping for the guy in the plane crash. I was so hoping, and up until the moment that uh, Wade went to the hospital, to find out who it was, I was almost convinced that it was going to be Richard Maxwell. And I was so disappointed when it wasn't. Hey, Monty did a good job in that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, good. It kept you guessing. At least, you know, if you were right all the time, you probably wouldn't listen. Yeah, I don't... Some pe- I know some people love finding out stuff way in advance, but I really don't. I'm one of the few people that listens week to week. You're a like, purist. <laughs> yes, exactly. A lot, a lot of people don't. Um, um, they don't do that. Um, but I've I've done that ever since I've listened to Odyssey, and it also get, it gives me something to look forward to every week. Like some people I hear can I like, just listen all to it all in one day, but for me. That's no fun. Like you don't get to, you know, savor it. I guess you call it. So it's yeah. a lot more fun if you can ha- spread it out and and the enjoyment factor is a lot better. Well, that's great. I guess you know the show was originally written for people like you. I, how did? When did you start this AIO blog? Um, I started it back in July of 2008. Oh, so and we're going on six years. Wow. And when did you start listening? Um, <laughs> ha, Kevin I, <laughs> McCreary's watching me. He says it's fun. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> I get to see if somebody sends me a message personally, it'll fly across my screen. Otherwise, I can't <laughs> see anything. Yeah, Kevin, just... I actually we need to talk to Kevin. Kevin, I'll talk to you in a few days. You know who he is, Kevin McCreary? Yeah, we, he, he's done some stuff, like, we on some of the projects we've done, like, uh, the radio dramas, Phil, like, Phil Lawler, he's done some of them. Kevin, he was on our last one, and he's he's really talented. He's a really cool guy. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, um, anyway, your question, um, when did I start listening? Um, oh, yeah. Um, I can't really remember a time before I started listening to Odyssey. I think when I was around four, maybe, I heard, I just wow. vaguely remember hearing an episode on the radio. I think it was a question about Tasha. Huh? For some, for some, for some How reason. How funny. <laughs> I know. For some reason, I just have a very faint memory, and that's it. Hmm. But I can't really remember a time before I was listening to it. And Tasha, by the time she was born, we were listening to it a lot. So, she <laughs> so are you like, the oldest? Are you the oldest in your family? Or are there more? Yeah. Yeah, Tasha's the next. And the, yeah, and then our sister Ash is the youngest, and she's she's heard it all her life too, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard when there's a third one. That's what happened in our family. Hi, Dan. Uh, Dan Klein said hi. Um, yeah, because I my son listened, listened, listened. Then my daughter. Then by the time the third one came, he had already like heard everything, so he was, <laughs> you know, but. Anyway, yeah, that's cool. So that, now you have your blog, and um, what else was I going to ask you about that? You started when you were little. You started writing in 2008. What made you want to write it? Well, I had started a personal blog the year before, and I really liked that. And for a while, I was wanting to make an Odyssey fan web, and um, I've always wanted to do that. So I started it, and it was basically just going to be news. Mm-hmm. Um, th- at that time, there really wasn't any of their Odyssey blogs. There was like only one of the one, and the Odyssey scoop, you know, Jacob Isom, um, he used to do like daily updates, like a blog, but he had stopped for a while, and then he started back up. I think either a little bit before I did, or a little before. Or well, little Dan after I had did. the original one. Dan Klein. Yeah, he high. had the original website. Um, and Tasha, yeah. do you write for it too? No. Uh, I she's just she's, I had she's, to she's written one post, but most of the time, like we we did I a did? pod. Yeah, I remember for uh, Andre Swick when we interviewed him, we had like okay, the sneaky, uh, you know, sharing the clip with everybody. Oh, okay. But yeah. we did a podcast, we ended that last year, like an audio podcast, um, and she was my co-host, and we had a lot of fun doing that, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just because of my love of Odyssey and how much I want people to know about it. And the, it was mainly news for a while, but it just branched out to some more creative projects like our radio dramas and the podcasts and wallpapers and stuff like this here. Wow. Well, that's great. You're the next Oprah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not quite sure I want to be either. <laughs> so is there anybody else out there who wants to... Uh... Ooh, we just got Close. some more uh, questions here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, oh, no, it's just a part. comment there. 
Because one of my favorite Odyssey actors is Alan Young. I had the pleasure to spend about 45 minutes in the phone with him a few years back for an interview. With in who? Conclusion, uh, Alan Young. Ah. Uh. I said how. Um, and he was one of the kindest guys in the world. How is your experience working with him, and will he return to Odyssey anytime soon? And that's from Joe. Will he return anytime soon? Yeah, is that the I, question? I, that and um, what was your what, how was your experience um, acting with him? Oh, hi, Rocco. Um, I'm just going to say hi to everybody who says hi. <laughs> um, well, Alan is a huge star. I grew up watching him on TV, so, like, come on. Seriously? That's pretty awesome. That's the best part of my job is the people I work with. I totally watched Mr. Ed growing up, so that's, uh, you know, and he was great. He, you know, he's just a lovely, lovely man, and he's a great person to talk to, and just like Hal, and just like Walker has great stories from the past to share, and he's a really kind person. Um... It probably won't be back on Odyssey. Um, he yeah, that's what a lot of us figured. Um, he's, you know, kind of retired, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it, it was nice hearing him on Home Again over the phone. I wasn't. I I know that Jack was doing the episode. But I wasn't sure if they were gonna use like old lines for something. No, I but, guess he he called in and they recorded him over the phone. Was was that live with you guys? Like, did you talk to him or was that no. recorded later? No, I'm gonna have to drive over and go see him. That's on my agenda. Mm-hmm. Well, Ryan's has seen him. He sees him every few weeks. He's gone out to visit with him. So I want to go with Will one of these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah he, yeah, like, we were so super excited when we heard him on the phone. Like, Tasha had no idea who's in the episode, so we were all freaking out. That we, the whole room got quiet. Yeah, everyone really just stopped and listened. Oh, nice. Well, he's a he's an amazing, you know, he's a writer, producer, singer, entertainer. I mean, Jeepers Creepers ought to be able to learn something from those guys, right? I hope. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, at this point, we're about the halfway mark, and we want to let it, our audience, our live audience here, to get a chance to win... A prize! Yep. A copy of the Our Favorites album. Focus oh, on the cool! Family, focus Do on I the have family. that? Um, Sorry. You Go might ahead. have. It's, it's all the actors' favorites. Um, there's you right there. There's me. Yes, I believe you. Okay. <laughs> but um, this is a collection of several of the Odyssey actors' favorite episodes. Plus, it has the video of the 25th anniversary live show that they did. Really? really yeah, as the video on there. Uh, I'm going to open up my package as soon as we get off of here and watch <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Focus on the Family is really gracious to send us um, for some contests, and we have a few left over. But for this, um, we're just giving one away to the. What first do they have to do to win? Okay, here it is. You the fir- for the first person to answer this question about Connie will win this, and we'll send it to them. And the question is, what kind of car did Mr. Baker buy Connie for Christmas? Now, you have to send your answer to adventuresinodysseyblog at gmail.com. That's all lowercase, adventuresinodysseyblog at gmail.com. Send that with your name, and we'll be watching that here. And the first person that um, gets it into us will contact you back, and we'll send the package to you. So while we're waiting for that, um, we'll start with some more questions. And just a reminder... You guys can send in your questions, too. All right. Oh, that's so exciting! <laughs> okay, um, did you do the last one? I did not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, because I did Okay. One. Well, I did the one by Alan Young, but, okay. Whatever. Keep going. Um, if what you could... Pro- okay. If you could portray any character in any medium, what would it be? Let's see, besides Rocco Fonzarelli's mother in a short film, uh, <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Any character in any medium. 
yeah, like if it's on video or on the radio or on a pl in a play or something like that. Any character at all. Hmm. Can I think about that and move to the next question? Wow, we actually got you stumped for once. <laughs> well, I don't think about... <laughs> I'm more of a, like, somebody will hand me something and I'll think, oh, how can I make this work? I don't think oh, I want to be somebody... Uh, like, who would you want to be, Tasha? Mm. Tasha Flores. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, who would that? Who would the person who posed that question want to be? Um, that actually, I came up with that question there. Oh, you did. Yeah. So, who do you <laughs> want to be, Austin? <laughs> well, I have a lot. Always wanted to be on Odyssey someday, and I haven't really thought about it. But if I could, it would probably be my favorite kid character, which is Jared Dwight. I love him. <laughs> So do I. So I think he's him. a riot, but now I like Wit. He's pretty. I mean, um, Jay. Jay. Yeah. 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 He he's like a, he, so funny. I love him. So he's kind of taken a little Jared's place because he's more raised. I love Jared. You know what? I always wanted to be on Veggie Tales. So oh, I. You'd be great over there. I would like, like to be a vegetable. <laughs> and what kind of vegetable would you be? If I were. An eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> An eggplant. <laughs> okay, so does that answer the question? Yeah, I don't. I I never think I want to be anybody. So, uh, although I um, yeah, no, I don't have an answer. I'm sorry. Just an eggplant. <laughs> so is that so is that your answer? Is that my final or... answer? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it's a very very good cop out. <laughs> and um, speaking of answers, we have a winner for the copy of Woo! our favorites here, which Jacob Eisen just joined it, and he he said, "Woot! I'm the one who designed that album," which he did a great job, I think. So shout out to you, Jacob. Jacob, did he win? No, he designed the album. He designed the cover art. Like, oh, he the, did. Like, pictures over it and stuff. Oh wow, you're kidding. No, nope, he, he does a lot, a lot of the albums for Odyssey now. Like the, like the design for it. Gary Locke still does the art, but um. You're kidding me. What, Jacob? You did tell her that. <laughs> How old is he? Um, I'm not really sure, and I don't think you probably want me to say even if I didn't know. <laughs> okay. So, Jacob, if you want her to know, you can just send her a private message. Anyway, How um... How does anybody send me a private message on here? Like on Facebook. They can do it oh. on Facebook. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, and like I said, we have a winner for this album right here, which is can super cool. It? Yeah, I guess you can. Okay, go okay, ahead. Okay, so I um, the shortened this, version of it. Okay, do the answer first. Okay. Okay, the question again was, what kind of car did Ray get Connie for Christmas? And the answer is a red prelude. And the first person to get that in was... Josh Coe. Hey, I was going to say that. But oh, wow. Josh. Is, that, is he related to Allie? Yeah, Josh and Allie, oh. the brother and sister. Okay, cool. I thought it was a used car. Yeah, it was. It's a red trailer. <laughs> Remember, and um, Connie's car is breaking down, and uh, she was like, she, and she, yeah, again. and then she thought Eugene was buying her a car, but we got it for her instead. And she did a cheese basket. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations. What episode is that? Um, a Christmas. A Christmas. A Christmas conundrum. That's one of my favorites. It's really funny. All right, I'll have to listen to that again too, because I want to win a contest. All right. <laughs> All right. Good job, Josh. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. It like really close to the camera. Okay, let's go on to another question, which is your turn. You sure? Yeah. Okay. What do you think is the most important thing about Odyssey?
our fans. Oh. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Am I supposed to elaborate? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we're trying to make this interview an hour, so <laughs> no. Okay, I uh, stretch. You don't want to. <laughs> no, I, I, you know what? This show, for the most, okay, let me say this. The most important thing about Odyssey for me is the fans. Because it's, I mean, the second thing would probably be all the actors I get to work with. I mean, I love going to work. It's really fun to do it and record it. But because of the fans and everybody out there, it's become such a huge thing. I have friends everywhere because they're fans of Odyssey, and I, they feel like family to me. So I feel like I belong to this whole real alternate family that's real, even though Odyssey isn't real, but all you all are real. <gasps> what you said. <laughs> what? You said Odyssey isn't real. I'm crushed. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you'll get over that, I'm sure. Um, no, so, yeah, I think. And the fact that, I mean, we get amazing fan mail. It touches people all over, you know, adults, little kids, it, it helps, you know, we're, I know that we're a blessing, and my only prayer in my life is to, you know, serve God and be a blessing to people, do it, you know, have him use me for something that'll make a difference and last, and I feel like Odyssey does that, so it's, I don't know, that's not one thing, I guess, but it's pretty big. Yeah. I think that's Odyssey has a a huge place in a lot of people's lives, and if it helps people come to know God more, come to know who Jesus is, come to know themselves better, and build better relationships, wow! I mean, psh, pretty awesome. Yeah, and speaking of um, uh, testimonials, I guess somebody just posted this on our uh, uh, the Google Plus event. And the pitch said that every Saturday morning, me and my siblings would bunch their radio and listen in. Our family would get stacks of your CDs to listen in the car while we're headed towards our destination. Your work as Connie has added such a bright light to AIO. You always make me laugh and are so relatable. Thank you for your awesome work in AIO and bringing joy to so many families as you all provide a clean, encouraging radio show. May God bless you. Yay! Well, that's what we like to hear, right? <laughs> that's yeah. what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. That's... It's pretty wonderful, you know? It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for pe people who, you know, and I guess they wouldn't listen if it wasn't any good. So it's nice to be a part of something that's quality mm -hmm. and good for people and fun. I hope I can make people laugh. <laughs> I don't know if anybody, if anybody, <laughs> I don't know, have people hear me. You know, I don't want to know if they don't want to hear me. That's okay. <laughs> They can listen no. to another character. <laughs> no, you you do make us laugh quite a bit. It's it's really, hear, like hearing Connie always say like, you know, sorry I'm late with, or, um, wow. you know, getting mad at Eugene or something like that. That's always a lot of fun. They just copy the stuff from real life. They, you know, <laughs> I'm always late, so they just like suck that in from reality and throw it into the show. Yeah. I told I told them this week. I said, you know, a long time ago, I remember we did an episode, and I I think Nathan was directing, and in the dialogue was something about where's Connie, and Eugene said, oh, she's in the bathroom using her cell phone, and I thought that's weird. Why would they say that? And I just didn't think about it. I thought just, I just remember striking me as. Why does she go in the bathroom? And then when I found myself in the bathroom on my cell phone, I thought, oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess I, I don't think I, I don't know if I did it before the show. And so I was sharing that with Dave, and Dave said, I wrote that line. <laughs> really? <laughs> did I do that or what? I don't think so, but I do now. So wow. now uh, I, I understand. Did. Yeah, I know that you did that at Thanksgiving, so I don't think there's any mention of Connie doing that. It was. Was that like a 
Add this from the, or was that in no, the script? No, it was in the script. It was yeah, just they, it was just kind of random because they had never said anything like that before. Connie had never been on the phone. Yeah, so it was like that's why it struck me as this funny line. But then now I understand what he's talking about because it's kind of normal now for me. So it's prophetic, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Okay, your turn. Don't ask me. <laughs> okay. Who's turn? It's your turn. You're sure. What was the last question? Uh, what do you think is... That was me. Okay. Okay. So okay. You, can send, you can copy and paste it. I'll read it. <laughs> okay. Stop okay. this bickering right now. <laughs> That's kind of impossible for us. Yeah, we, we, had a, we, had, we had such a role model with Connie and Eugene, so we can't really help it now. So it's I guess it's probably your fault. Not just probably, kidding. Probably, yeah. <laughs> like most things in life are my fault, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Um, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to mispronounce this name, but um, bear with me. Kaylin Malloy um, asks, which character do you wish to come back from the older episodes? Jared. <laughs> um, well, I loved Malachi. That was pretty amazing, but I don't know if they could bring him back. Um, yeah, I, know, I, know I love talked, that episode. I know, I do too. I think we um, talked about it at one point. Like, if you're doing an official podcast and Philip Glassboro that plays Malachi, he was in there. They're sort of kidding around. They had him in there, but Unless they really had a good story to go with it, I don't think they should bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Um, boy, well, do you mean people who are still alive or just characters? Just, just, just any character, I guess. Well, I wish all the people who aren't with us anymore were back, for sure. Yeah. So is there any particular character... Besides Mitch. <laughs> well, Rodney. <laughs> yeah, we talked to Steve, Steve Burns about that, too, and he said, yeah, that's that should totally happen. Yeah, I <laughs> miss Rodney. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Now it's my turn. Can't get out of it now, Tosh. This one right here. <laughs> okay. Of, of the most recent episodes you've done, which is your favorite? Of what? The most recent episodes you've done. Of Odyssey. Uh, hmm. The most recent. Oh gosh. Uh keep, again? <laughs> Yeah, uh my favorite. Well, of course you know I love them all. Um my fa hmm, the most recent ones I've done. Well, I, Green Ring Conspiracy was fun just getting to know uh Penny and what and her and Wooten. I mean, it's really fun when she and Wooten are together. It's great. Really fun to watch. Um, it's that's that's yeah. So I, you know, that was good when she first came. I liked that. Yeah, um, we, we really love the story about how that came to be. How that came to be? Like how how Penny stayed on the show. Like she was originally going to be a bad guy. Like she's um, intentionally involved in the Green Ring, but that you like. Um, you talked to the writers. I begged them, please, please let her stay, because we want to get an apartment together and be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and they listened to me. They don't usually do that, but uh, I just said, oh, please, because there aren't too many girls that Connie has, you know, friendship that, with. Yeah, that's, I think they talked about it before, like, way back in um, the earlier albums. Like, they had Cheryl McCormick, like, um, the a girl that Connie led to Christ, and she was sort of her friend like, for a few episodes, but then she was like sort of written off. Like we couldn't ever really find a friend that you, they like. Usually, it's usually older, older than Connie, like Wit or Bernard, and, or like um younger kids like Mandy or Lucy. That's kind of like me in real life, actually. <laughs> I have a lot of older and younger friends. So yeah, having um Penny there was just 
so nice and I've just loved acting with Kimmy so much. She's just so fun and easy to work with. Hi, Katie. Great. Hi, Joe, whoever you are. Joe Cook. Hello. Shout out to Joe Cook. Um, must be a Facebook friend. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so she was so much fun to work with, and I just really liked having her. I wanted her to stay, and she just so easily just got into, I mean, most people when they have, you know, we've been doing this 26 years, most people who show up don't really get the whole Odyssey world, you know, it's they just come in and they'll do it, but, uh, you know, they they don't buy into it personally, emotionally, like we do, like, anyhow, um, but Kimmy, I could tell she really did, and, and like, after, once they, once she stayed and we did some other show, I remember her saying to me, oh, I wish Connie would go on some dates so I could help her pick out her clothes. <laughs> I knew she had been odyssey-fied. It was like, really? <laughs> okay, well, maybe the writers will write that in there for us and you can help well, me pick out my clothes. Well, she got, she got Connie back into her wedding dress. <laughs> it's sort of like a date. Yeah, well, yeah. And, well, and also with, you know, when she went with Mitch at the coffee shop, but I don't, did she, I don't think she picked out her clothes then. Mm, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, that was, that was an interesting show when Mitch came back. Yeah. That was good. Do we do so many, um, where I, you know, get involved? I, I like, um, I like the historical ones, too. I like to listen to them. I'm usually not in them. But uh, it's really great to, to learn some new things from the show or learn some stuff about history. My CD player broke in the car, so I'm having a problem listening. i got to get a, my car CD player fixed. Because um, I really do love to listen when we're driving. As a matter of fact, Chris and I were driving somewhere, and she hadn't heard episode our album 57 or Life Expectancy. She said, she said, well... Well, I want to hear that show that everybody's talking about. I said, okay, because I brought it with me. So we put it in her car, but she didn't know that Connie's mom died. And I was videotaping her while she was listening, and she was, because I knew she would be surprised. She goes, why didn't you tell me? Turn that off. Turn that off. <laughs> well, you, you should share that video on your Facebook. That would be really fun. <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe I have to ask her permission, but she looks good. It's just my, you know, my cell phone. I was trying to catch her because I knew she didn't know what the show was about. So. Well, that's amazing. I I hear from um some people that work in the like they only like listen to the shows that they were in, or like you just or not hear the episodes at all, which I can't imagine. But um, I, I know some of them like like you know it's 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 very different um listening to like your voice. On, like after it's all done, like for me, I don't really like sound my own voice when it's recorded. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be kind of nerve-wracking for me, but I don't know how people can't listen to at least the shows that they were in. Well, I, you know, part of it is, I guess, if they don't have a huge ego and have to hear it, that's <laughs> one thing. And the second thing is because you're already experiencing it. Yeah. When you're acting it, I don't know. I mean, that's the. It is fun to listen to. It is kind of hard to listen to yourself if other people are around. But um, you know. It, yeah, I know. I can't explain that, and I should have heard every single episode at this point in my life. But I confess, I haven't. I probably haven't. I'll lend out CDs to people or. Or my car will break and I won't have anything to and plus you gotta have, you know, you have to be able to sit and listen like while you're, you know, driving and, and you have to have that time, right? So I'm actually jealous of the people who make the time and are able to just sit and listen. I wish I could uh uh incorporate that in my lifestyle. That would be wonderful. But in the car it's great. And I I went on driving trips with my kids and, you know, even by myself, you know, I, I love it. It really helps the time go by. And I'm always yelling at I even yelled at somebody today because 
I didn't yell at them, but the, but they were trying to say, oh yeah, Odyssey is this great show for kids, like 12 and under. I'm like, no, it's Whoa. not just for kids. It's not just for kids. Don't even say that. That got me yeah. kind of upset that people still think that because I don't think it is. But yeah, that's a lot. A lot of us fans don't like when people do that either. Okay, well, moving on um, to our next question about another thing that happened in life expectancy. What did you think about Jeff Lewis's return? I thought that was very interesting. What did you think? Um, I was I was kind of spoiled again on that one. But I know Tasha was pretty surprised by it, and I wasn't 100 sure how or why they do that. So it was a little bit of a surprise. You know, I'm beginning to think you look pretty spoilers. No, I do not. I try my best not to. Sure. I thought Jeff was awfully sweet, and um, it was that was a really that was a sweet uh chunk of the episode there. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I know some people already think that me that Jeff will make a better, uh, boyfriend or husband for Connie than Mitch, maybe. Probably. Yeah, because he's not going on all these dangerous missions all the time. Well, he's, yeah, well, Jeff, just especially flying airplanes. Since, especially since Mitch is married now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah that's not going to work. So, we got to find somebody else, right? <laughs> yeah, then uh, Penny will have a chance to help Connie pick out clothes for a date. Yeah, we'll see. They're they're not <laughs> anxious to have Connie get married or anything, you know. Yeah, I know. Eugene I know already I, did it. <laughs> I know a lot of people are wanting Connie and Eugene to get married, and they're pretty mad when he married uh, Katrina. Yes, that was a big whoop de do. <laughs> yeah, well... It's funny because Will and I are like best friends in real life, and we've been best friends for before Odyssey. So, but we never got married. So, <laughs> you know, it's a parallel universe. Okay. Um. Yeah, and this is um, in relation to. I'm sure many of you have heard that Dave Madden passed away this week, which I was terribly sad when I heard that. I cried quite a bit. Um, and how should we go ahead and ask the question? Do you have any fond memories of Dave Madden? I have a million of them. Uh, he, he was very, very, uh, sweet, believe it or not, to people, especially kids when they were at the studio and my kids, he would do magic tricks for them when they were little. Of course, he's someone else I grew up watching on TV, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, he took us all to the Magic Castle one time for dinner because um, he was a magician and a member of this place in L.A. where you can go see magic. Uh, he's just funny. My, my best memories are he used to send really funny jokes like every day in the email before he got tired, I guess, a few years ago, but he would always send funny jokes. Con it was just so great to see, here's another one, he'd just send them out every day. And then I would usually send them to my pastor to tell on Sunday morning, because he likes <laughs> to tell jokes. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dave was, um, just, he always had something really, really off the wall and funny to say. And I was looking in my email the last time I emailed him, and I was asking him how he was, and he wrote back, as, as well as to be expected for a man of my height. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, hear, I hear a lot of his humor like that was really like his character, Bernard. Yeah, and he wrote a book. I read his book. I bought his book and read it. It kind of tells about his life. That's interesting if anybody wants to read it. It's called Reuben on Rye. Or, I think, yeah, Ruben. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've been, I've been needing to pick that up. Mm hmm. Yep. All right. Um, winding down here. Are you working on any new projects? Yes. I am. I'm working on a 
Well, I think uh, on PBS there's a show called Space Racers, which I worked on with Phil Lawler, and it should be on the air really soon. Um, it's a cartoon, and I'm working on another one that I don't know when that will be on. We're just recording the episodes called Get Blake. It's going to be on Nickelodeon, I believe. I worked on some preschool shows that I just don't know when the, you know, when you ask what are you working on, it's either two years too early or, you know, it's already, it's two years past if it's on the air. Uh, a little kid's show called Zoo, which is very cute, Z-O-U. I'm working on, I'm going to direct an Audible script, which I'm pretty excited about. I've never directed. It's a screenplay, an animated feature-length film screenplay that I get to cast and direct. Um, and that'll be out like a, the company Audible Scripts puts it out like an audio book. Mm -hmm. um, so you can listen to it. It's called, uh, I hope, it, you know, it, nothing goes wrong, but it's called uh, Rex, Tanner, and the Sword of Damocles. So we'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, yeah. Um, one one person that should um, you should have it is Andre Stoica because I know he does a lot of the he does a lot of audiobook narration. He's really good at it. Oh yeah, he's working on all kinds of stuff. Um, what else am I doing? I do a lot of e-learning things. Um, you know, especially some homeschoolers might hear my voice on some you know, curriculum that I'll do voices for, uh, uh, a website, ABC, yeah, you can hear my voice a lot. Um, I'm trying to think, what else am I doing? Oh, a new web, webisode, a web series, and I, th I think it's called Charms. We haven't started yet, but, uh, uh-oh, someone sent me a message. I didn't see what it was. I can't read that fast. <gasps> Abby! <laughs> Hi, Abby. I worked on Beyond the Mask. I did some dubbing on that, which is kind of cool. Abby might have even worked on that movie. It's a new uh, Burns Family film coming out. Um, Paul and Paul Kessler, didn't he write the script for it? Yes! I discovered that Paul wrote it, so small world. Yeah. So that was interesting. Um, that's about all I can tell you, I think. I don't know. Because, yeah, you can, as you can see now that you're talking with me, my brain is, you know, only, it can only hold so much. It's like, <laughs> you know, like the bathtub. It gets so full and then it just starts running over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my turn? Yeah, okay. and this is the last question here. Okay, if you're allowed to tell us, is there something about Album 58 that you're most excited about? I believe that's for the That I um, got episodes. to work on Odyssey again? That's what I'm most excited about, <laughs> that there's an album 58 at all. That's what I'm excited <laughs> about. Woohoo! Yay! I'll just tell you I get to be in a lot of the episodes. So that's even better. Woohoo! Yes. Yep. So, yes, I'm excited that there's an album 58 and that I'm working on it. <laughs> we got it about halfway done this week, and uh, it's quite uh, quite good. Yeah, I hear, I hear it's based on the Focus on Families, the Family Project. You talked to Paul about that on the interview before. Oh, really? What did he say? Yeah, he said that um, they're it's sort of like how they do the Truth Chronicles, but not so much. like They're like going to focus on the different aspects of family life, like oh. Christian family, stuff like that. So I'm really interested to see how what they're going to do with that. Oh, is that what it's about? See, nobody tells me this. It's based on what? The Family Project? Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a brand new project that Focus on the Family is doing. Um, I think, like, their, you know, their main objective is to help families thrive. But I think it's, like, a different, a little different aspect, like, going through, like, the Bible, like, how um, the different aspects of the... Yeah, it was a little bit be. different. It was... It was a little bit different, so I was wondering where it came from. So now I know. Thank you. I'm so glad I did this interview because no one told me this week. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. You know, I'm uh, always the last to know, right? <laughs> you know that. Uh, <laughs> I guess that actually is true. Maybe they just throw that to your character, too. Uh, yes, it's true. In in Odyssey and in real life. I don't know, but I guess it does, you know, whatever. 
<laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what's going on. There's, I just go and have fun. Yeah. Well, speaking of fun, this interview has been a whole lot of fun, and is it a wrap? The, well, unless somebody sends in some more questions soon. No, that's probably oh. good. Okay. Well, we want to thank um, all of our listeners and viewers, I guess, uh, for sending in your questions and posting your comments. Um, really, we do this for you guys. Um, it's We've done lots of interviews, and we've only done two of this kind of live video, which, for me, I it's a lot easier for people, and it's a lot more fun. You guys see people's reactions and stuff. It's a... It takes a little more work, but yeah, it's well, I think it's Good well job. Working. I mean, you were able to pull it off better than Focus did when we were doing that. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. It's, 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 it's fairly easy. It's glad, I'm just glad it worked out, but you want to thank well, you. Good job. For... Good job. You guys, good job. Tasha and Austin. <laughs> thanks. But we want to thank you too, Katie. We really appreciate you working with us and agreeing to be with be on this with us. It has been an absolute, absolute pleasure. It's it's it was so great talking to you. No matter how many people get to talk to from Odyssey, it just keeps it gets better and better, and it's always so much fun. Yeah. Well, like I said, we wouldn't be anything without you guys. So thank you very much. Okay. Well, it's been fun, guys, and. Hopefully we can do something like this again and maybe interview Katie again. Okay. <laughs> I better start watching so I better learn something to share. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. All right. Well, thanks again, Katie. And this is Austin. And Tasha. Signing off.